Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to share with you guys some tips and tricks for the game mode team deathmatch. I know a lot of people get stuck playing this game mode when they're playing by themselves because uh, they don't want to jump into a domination or a hard point game and be the only person playing the objective. A lot of you guys, I know, just like to play it for fun. I tend to play it for gameplay for my YouTube videos. Uh, but again, I wanted to share with you guys some things that I do and some things that I have done that have helped me become a better team deathmatch player, whether that be getting more kills uh, or more wins. So the first thing that I want to talk about is pay attention to the spawns. They're constantly flipping, okay? This isn't domination where, you know, one team is going to have one spawn, the other is going to have another spawn. This is TDM. People are going to spawn in every which direction possible, and it's something that can get really annoying if you don't pay attention. I think the main key to, to keeping track of the spawns is minimap awareness, especially when you're playing core. I think one of the gameplays that I'm using in this video, I'm playing hardcore, so you don't have the minimap. Uh, but in core team deathmatch, you do have that minimap at all times, and although you're not able to see at all times where the enemies are, uh, you're able to have a better idea of where they might be due to your teammates location so a lot of people tend to not pay attention to the minimap as much as they should um, but if you take a look and you pay attention consciously uh, like like realize where your teammates are running which direction they're coming from where they're spawning at you can really have a good idea of where the enemies are going to be and what's nice is you can look around the map just in general and see where your teammates are from their little name tag so uh, paying attention to where your teammates are is going to benefit you just as much as it would uh, having you UAV. So pay attention to the minimap. Minimap awareness is key uh, when, when trying to figure out the spawns. The second thing is to create unfair gunfights. Put yourself in, in a position to have an advantage. For example, head glitching, jump shooting. You know, there's so many different things that you can do. Uh, let's say, for example, you come around a corner and you're, you just sprint through a doorway and there's a guy on the other team that's already sitting there posted up, aiming down sight, ready to take you out. Obviously, that guy was prepared and has a much better chance of killing you than you have of killing him unless you're a god and able to evade his gunfight or his gunshots and, and take him out. But you want to put yourself in a position to win more gunfights before you just go running around the map. So uh, an example would be to line up in the middle somewhere, like like guarding a main door or or if you, you see someone on the UAV coming from a certain direction instead of running at them wait for them to come to you set up in head glitch or even jump shot if you run around a corner and you guys run into each other jump shot you know boost slide do something that's going to give you that advantage uh, and give you that upper hand keep in mind guys that KD does matter in this okay which is kind of the next thing I wanted to talk about you don't want to just aimlessly run around let's say domination when I play domination I'm always just playing objective I'm always just throwing my body on the flag I generally don't care about how many times I'm going to die however team deathmatch is different because the whole game revolves around killing people so you want to make sure that you're not just trading kills you know you might end the game with 20 kills but if you have 20 deaths you really didn't help your team that much so you want to make sure that you are focused on your KD and trying not to die as much as possible so you do need to play a little bit more conservative and uh, and not just run down the middle and trade kills so KD matters uh, create these unfair gunfights the next thing I want to talk about is score streaks. I highly recommend running low to mid score streaks. I think what I really enjoy running is UAV Hellstorm Lightning Strike. You can also run UAV Counter UAV um, and then like Hellstorm. I like the UAV uh, Hellstorm Lightning Strike because I, for some reason people continue to run the highest score streaks in the game in Team Deathmatch. And that's all great and dandy, but to be honest with you, the only way you're getting points in Team Deathmatch is by killing people. There's no objective, so it's going to take much longer to get those streaks. And if you're even lucky enough to get those streaks, by the time you get them, it's going to be the end of the game and they're going to be useless. It's not going to be worth it. So uh, I always think that running lower score streaks in TDM is going to be much more worth it than running those high score streaks. UAV is always crucial in Team Deathmatch because, again, all we're trying to do is kill people. We're not playing an objective, so it's always nice to have constantly constant UAVs in the air. And then Hellstorm and Lightning Strike are two kill streaks that or score streaks that are very easy to get kills with. I think these are pretty much guaranteed kills, especially with the Hellstorm. Um, and they have been for a long time. Back in Black Ops 3, they were basically guaranteed kills. So UAV, Hellstorm, and Lightning Strike are probably my three favorite, and uh, you're going to do much better, and especially if you can get your teammates or your friends to use these streaks as well, uh, you're pretty much invincible, which is kind of the next thing, the last thing that I wanted to talk about, and that's picking up teammates, whether it be friends, whether it be randoms, whoever it is, it's always better to have teammates when playing a game mode like Team Deathmatch, because you can communicate, you can keep your teammates from dying or just running out there, and actually communicate and do better. <laughs> I think always having t like friends or or, or some sort of teammate that you can communicate with is important for every game mode, not just team deathmatch. But uh, in team, when you're playing a game where you know it's it's team versus team, and the only uh, goal is to kill. Uh, having having people that are going to communicate are going to be much more worth it. So make sure that you can hook up with some with some friends. 
or some randoms just going to game chat. Everybody's in game chat now, whether they're talking trash or just hanging out. But um, but yeah, guys, so I'll run over them again real quick. We spawn, like pay attention to the spawns. They flip consistently. Mini map awareness is very important. Uh, create unfair gunfights, head glitch, jump shot, put yourself in a position that's going to get you the kill before the enemy kills you. KD matters. Don't just run down the middle of the map. Don't trade kills. It's not going to benefit you. Uh, run UAV, Hellstorm, Lightning Strike, Score Streaks, and pick up randoms or friends as teammates. You're going to do much better. But anyway, guys, that's it for the tips for Team Deathmatch. If you guys have any more to add, I'm sure there are plenty more. Make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Can we be friends?